watching Who's on Deck. I'm your host, Leah Guy, and today we're in New York City at Drive 495 with PGA Tour winner D.A. Point. So you've played against some of the greatest golfers of all time. Pretty much. Uh, I've, I've even played in tournaments with Jack Nicklaus and uh, Tom Watson and, and uh, Mr. Palmer. Um, but, uh, you know, Tiger Woods and I are uh, about 11 months apart in age, so we've been playing together since I guess we were about 15 years old. Oh, really? Yeah, and then, um, uh, you know, now we're, we're, we're getting closer in, uh, in ability, I guess you could say, or at least performance, and, and uh, playing on the PGA Tours, uh, it's, a, it's a, a dream come true. Well, you've been winning lately quite a bit, right? Oh, yeah, I've had uh, I've had a good last couple years. Uh, last year, I won the AT and T uh, Pebble Beach National Pro Am. Yeah. Uh, and my partner was Bill Murray. I saw that. That's yeah, fun. Yeah, he's he, he was a lot of fun. And then uh, he now, are playing. you having an injury? I saw online that you pulled out of a tournament for your back. Yeah, just recently, I was on the tee warming up the day of the first round and just a crazy fluke back spasm just set off when I was warming up and it was just a, a real sc kind of scary thing oh. um, but honestly four days later I was I was about 85 90 percent now I'm 100 percent I feel good. So yeah. what what age were you when you started thinking to yourself I'm really gonna do this for the rest of my life and make money? Well when I was like Fourteen or fifteen, my father sat me down and said, "Hey, listen, you know, uh, you're getting to an age where, you know, you're, you're going to have to start making some choices, and and you know, what do you want to do?" And and he's like, "You know, I I think you're a good enough golfer to maybe earn a scholarship or maybe do this as your job." Well, that's that's a pretty supportive role of parents, don't you think? My parents are a huge part of my career and of my life, and and uh, they they went on a limb and said, you know, I think that you're a good enough kid and a, and a good enough golfer to be able to earn an education, and so we're going to use our savings towards giving you the opportunity to be put in front of different coaches and and such to hopefully earn that earn that scholarship and I did I went to LSU uh, Louisiana State University on a full yeah. scholarship nice. and uh, I was there for two years didn't have the best time there uh, and ended up actually transferring to the University of Illinois where I still got a scholarship and ended up graduating and, and uh, I was an All-American and, and we had a, had a great team. What do you what do you eat and how do you take care of yourself? What are some of your favorite snacks? Uh, well uh, f definitely uh, Almonds are, are uh, an important part of uh, my snacking at, at home and on the golf course. It's funny because my caddy, I always get mad at my caddy, he's always trying to eat them you all. <laughs> but uh, you know, the almonds and then fish and, and uh, chicken and... So you did pretty well. Uh, yeah, I do, I do all right. I, I hear you I, like your wine. I love wine. Are That's you a my, wino? I'm a wino. My, wino's, my wine's my downfall. Uh, I like to sit at home at night with a, a nice glass of red wine and then I, I, I break out the dark chocolate covered almonds. So my wife and I sit there and have our wine and almonds That's and why you watch don't TV. Fight. That's you, right. You're drunk and you're eating chocolate. That's you right. the aphrodisiac. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's ever wrong. That's right. We've got no reason to be mad at each other. <laughs> have you ever taught how to play golf? Uh, I have given some lessons. When I was in college, I did an independent study for a guy, and he was like, okay, I want you to give me golf lessons. You think you could teach me today a little bit? Absolutely. All right, well, let's hit, let's tee it off. Is that what they say? Tee off? Let's just say, how about we say let's hit a few balls. Okay, we're going to hit a few balls. So far, so far, your your I will say your posture is very good. Really? Very good. So I get an A. You get an A for posture. Okay. Your grip could use a little work. Okay. Right now, if you tried to hit it like that, do you like a, my nail polish? The, the nail polish helps a lot, though. Try to turn your hands a little more this way, because like this? yeah, because the reason why is when your hands are too straight on, like you originally had them, there's a good chance you're going to hit it way to the right. Like this? Yep. And then that tucks in there? Yep. And then close it over. And those two touching? Yep, just like that. That's weird. Pretty close. There you go. There you go. That looks I better. I think this is going to mess up my whole game. And okay, so when you swing it back, and this arm is allowed to bend. Okay. That one stays straight. Okay. This one bends, and the weight should be over here in your right leg. Yeah. And then when you come down, down, 
here, and then through this arm, bends. There you go. Okay. All right, you want to move and let me uh, Okay, I'll be happy to get out of the way and let you hit. If someone saw that picture, they'd go, she knows what she's doing. I do know what I'm doing. Yeah, I I'm know. I'm playing that. golf. I'm standing here. <laughs> That was awesome. That was really good. Here. <laughs> that was really good, though. That was see. That was that was. Uh, okay, let's do this again. You this very good? you pleasantly surprised me. <laughs>